Hello and welcome back, I'm Bebo Jones. This is another review for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This time it's submitted by Bezo, I hope I say that right, and this is on the Taiga Special Edition map. And there's something about this map that just really resonates with me. It's not the biggest republic I've ever seen, it's not the most detailed that I've ever seen, but if you follow me, you know what I mean. It has a natural beauty about it, and I think it's worth sharing. Let's go through the basics. First of all, all settings are hard. I did turn off day-night cycle because YouTube video, but everything is set on hard, so that's cool. Our stats are pretty solid, um, nothing to complain, we only have 34,000 people. As I said, it's not the biggest republic that I've seen, but everything about this is something that personally I don't do very well. I don't spread out my, my cities, I don't spread out my republic in general, and most of the maps that I see have something concentrated around an area and then the rest of the map is just doesn't exist. This is different, this is different, and, and Bezo or Beso, I think that's Kiss in Spanish, has gone very far at making this Republic work. Everything is kind of connected, and I know the, the lines are hard to see potentially, but everything's connected. And we start here, we're gonna go through the mountain, or through this valley, uh, to the next city and set up over here. Then there are connections via rail and road out to all the other border posts, which is awesome. Then there's a city in the middle here, not border connected at all. And um, there's something being started up here. It's just, in general, there's a lot of stuff going on. And I like it. And that's why I wanted to show you guys what's going on here. But, yeah. Uh, game settings are all on hard. So kudos for that. Not, not everyone does it. Not everyone should do it. Because play it the way you like. Cool. We have trains. Uh-huh. We have an interstate system. Kind of. In a, in a way. And then we have some fields here. I, I have not looked at the economy yet because I want to show you everything else first. So, um, first, our first city. I'm pretty sure that this is our starter town because we we get the luxury of having two large customs houses sitting right here. It's actually really nice built into the tunnels. I, I, I don't know if this was uh, pre-built, which maybe, or if this was just done by Beso. Um, either way. It looks nice. It looks nice for the map. And then we have some power lines just going through here, I think. Yeah, we're, we're not we're not vanilla. Um, I, I've seen a couple, at least the ground cargo station thingies that are definitely not vanilla, so let's not even go there. But look at this. We have some refinery going on. We have some bitumen going on. We have stuff that just makes sense. Even this bridge going to all these oil fields, and then I would assume, yeah, the oil pipeline goes underneath the water. That all is really nice. <laughs> it's just, it works. We got the big, uh, big oil towers and so the little ones. They they produce a little more. Highly recommend them. They're actually really cool, and it feels like and this is what I mean. Natural. There's something natural about the, the, the whole theme of this map. Is kind of natural. Look at this city. It just feels like yep. You have some people here. You would think it's too close for pollution, but these people are happy enough. What do we have? Health. Ninety four percent. What's that? <laughs> I don't even. Oh, that's that's just high. Um, that just that, that, that's just high. That's great. Uh, but but yeah, look at this. There's just there's city over here. What do we have there? Just a city core, mixed buildings. So this grew over time, and that makes perfect sense. There's some some roads that that just need to happen. There's this guy over here. Why are you slowing down? Interesting. Um, but yeah, and obviously we have water, well, water turned on, which is great. We have sewage turned on. There's an actual sewage treatment plant. I barely ever see these in action because so far I have not figured out what they do besides eating your chemicals and still producing wastewater. But hey, that's fine. Processed water, 165 cubic meters. Yeah, no, it's... It's cool that you actually, some people actually use them. I honestly want to use them on the next playthrough because I have some different plans for it. But that is nice. I like, oh, there's a, what is this? Is this a hospital with a heliport on top of it? Aww. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, I, I haven't seen that mod before, but uh, I like it. Yeah, no, this city, good start. Nice, n nicely set up, starting with oil. That all makes sense. There is, there is some oil rail lines set up for it as well so that is pretty cool then we have some grain sitting over here some general construction office for rail construction so that is nice right next to the to the um depot so that's that's pretty sweet 
everything right on the border post so they get all the materials right away. It's It just feels good, natural. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. Nice little Autobahn, <laughs> Autobahn intersection here with roads that are connected different than I would have expected them, but that is just fine. It, it looks nice. I don't know why these are not one-way roads, but that's cool. That's fine. And then we have some rails. Yep, they happen. Well, we're gonna ride along one of the rails later on. I don't know which one yet. Um, they're also called trains, so we're gonna get to them. But look at this. The rail kind of is trying to go up to... Oh no, it's going up to the next customs house, and this just looks nice. There's... This is simple and natural and not forced, and... The roads are a little wavy, you know me, I like that. <laughs> That's the best way to do this, and um, obviously it's functioning because if we look at the money it's not a problem. Um, he started with a lot more money because I finished a couple of construction projects that he didn't get to, uh, and they cost about 200 million, which is what you see right now, so kind of ignore that because that was me, that was not Beso. Anyways, um, cool, well, cool, what is cool? I see these 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 bridges. Um, they don't necessarily necessarily take a ton of time out of your day to just build like this. So spend a few extra seconds to just get these done. What else do we have going on? This looks like box no iron iron mine right next to the prison. That kind of makes sense. We have this looks like a high yield iron mine with more people and more production and all that stuff. That's that's pretty cool. But this whole setup. Nice industrial, it's just, it's there. Mecca. <laughs> Mechanical components, yes. That makes sense, we got, oh, he's using the actual, um, the actual tram lines out here. That That's nice, that's a nice turnaround spot there. This, this feels very, I like the, I like the trams too, they, they look very European. I think Bezos German, um, but I am, I'm not 100% certain on that, but yeah, this, this is nice. It's It just has all the things right plopped in here. They're really close to the city. They're so close to the city that I want to double make sure the pollution is actually on. Pollution is enabled. So yeah, I'm always worried about pollution. Uh, these ones are dying, but they're also next to the steel mill. Maybe you shouldn't live there. Um, but no, I like it. I like it. And then you, you find just little things where this is just built into, into the structure. And it's... It works. It works for me. It works for me anyways. So, yeah. And then here's another city just to keep the steel mill happy. And I also really like the, the tram setup that he has going here. It's it's really simple, but I really like it. And it's totally functional. And totally works and totally does the things that you want it to do. So, what else do you want? And then there's a little scenic route down to the coal mine, obviously. And, <laughs> sorry, but this is a little funny. There's coal coming from here, going in there. This was probably the first coal processing plant that was set up. And they're like, oh wait, I need more coal. So you need to build another coal processing plant all around this thing. And then um, have these two coal plants feed into one conveyor tower that then feeds up to the steel mill, effectively. I like it. This could have also easily happened by going backwards and building this conveyor line first and then building these two coal plants and then go building or connecting to the coal mine. Doesn't really matter. Um, what, whatever works, works, and this works. Technical service, yes, of course. Cool. Um, so yeah, this is, this is the first part of the city. I kind of like it. There's a couple rail distribution offices parked here. All right next to each other, that's fine. But I like it. Oh, you have a footpath in between there. Oh, that is clever. I I do wonder because he's not he's not using the um what is it gravel road like this gravel square thing. He's not using this unless unless you are unless you're using it for the the background on the um. Rail distribution offices. I'm I'm not 100% sure, but I like it. I like that there's a little dirt in between and they're still nice and tight together. Oh, look at this. This is actually lined up. Great. Um, we're not gonna look at that too close. It's it's lined up great. I like it. Let's move on. This. Let's turn on the off the UI. That's G if you care. This is actually nice. It just goes through this valley. It's not just a normal connection. I don't care how smooth or unsmooth the roads are or anything else. Things are safe. It's not helping. 
um, but it's it's doing all the things that you want to do and you can just go through here and th this is what I mean it feels natural it's not it's not very forced it's very yeah this is where stuff's gonna go because that's where it belongs and you just work with the area that you're given and that's it feels good what do we have going on over here um, looks like just a fuel distribution center potentially yep not just it's just sitting here and if we look at the map this is where the city's really um, spread out or split up um, because this is what we have and just a big autobahn kreutz which makes perfect sense where it is this is a relatively nice looking rail junction because it's it's large it's spaced out really nice and that that's working then we get some some reasonable bridges going on here nothing wrong with that at all and then of course technical services i don't know if you need much of the sewage guys but you have it and it's working so that is awesome highly recommend if you're watching this remove the uh, diamond crossings after you're done with them especially if you have already upgraded to electric rail unless you're really planning on going uh, quad rail which rarely ever is really necessary oh wait no yeah you, you, this is fine uh the crossing is right in front of this turn off um, but I don't think that's necessary. These bridges are necessary. I do see that you don't have any signals on here uh, on this bridge. He could have done signals on the bridge by just picking whatever whatever bridge you have, and I think it's this one. Running it next to it. Hill causing obstruction. That's helpful. Uh, running. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? Snapping? Snapping is on. Huh. Anyways. I don't even know what its problem is. <laughs> I haven't seen that in a long time. Um, maybe from this side? Oh, you have to go all the way over. I thought that on these bridges, if you plan them like this, that, yeah, once you're next to them, you can autom or you can manually add some nodes like this. Apparently you can only do that if um, it's a brand new planning. You can't do that next to, <clears throat> next to existing pieces, but just just a side note you, you can add nodes with that you can add some you can add some uh signals there and that may make your life easier but this is fine because i don't think this map is using that many trains so this should be okay um we have a little bit of a roller coaster going on here but that's just how the map works i'm sure there's a different way to to solve this but it's absolutely not necessary because this is totally fine totally does its thing um lots of fields that's lovely um just Again, th this feels natural. It doesn't feel forced in. There's a rail line that runs here by the fields. There are a bunch of fields plopped around. There is some time spent on filling in the blanks with some trees and just some general landscaping, which is awesome. And this seems to work just fine. There's a rail connection right there, which goes to where? Oh, yeah, there's just a, a simple connection here. And then these just feels nice. It feels like there's thought put into this setup enough thought to make it worth it enough thought to make it definitely work but not so much where it feels unnatural and that's that's really the whole theme that i'm trying to convey here with what i've seen um simple just industrial setup makes perfect sense what are you are you a, an asphalt guy your tractor <laughs> that probably means there's no fuel somewhere where he was actually looking for fuel but that's fine we got a little big farm sitting here. We got a couple distribution offices, just things that you expect to see. This was the area that I had to build manually because it wasn't fully done yet. So it's not it's not fully set up, but it exists. Oh, it's the meat setup. Oh, that's great. There's more grain there than there's some distillery here, food factory, another food factory. It looks like you were planning on putting a lot of um, trucks on this to make things work. We have clothing, we have fabric. Uh, we have a bunch of warehouses, obviously, because that's what you need, and um, then some food. Yeah, this this is a nice little central location for effectively everything, so um, I, I'm sure that will look great when you're done with it. I like it. Now, Autobahn Kreutz, um, that's what you need. We have Corsana. Of course, it sounds like something Brazilian. Um, interesting placement for a border house, but... That's all right. And again, it's it's kind of hiding its tunnels and its its rails actually going somewhere, even though there's just water behind it. Um, but this is cool. That's probably part of the map, I'm guessing. 
um, a little bit of money and time spent to put some some walls around the things that you don't care for people to see all the time. So that's neat. Uh, some extra detail. This this looks interesting. What is what is going on below the little track here? Oh, that's that's actually pretty cool. I haven't seen this done before because this is the um, this is the gravel square texture just putting that on here but it actually follows the roads so well that it just looks like well they just cemented all of this and because it was cemented it's more stable so it kind of looks like it belongs here that's something i haven't seen or done before well done very well done even here and then obviously there's a tunnel in the middle because reasons <laughs> and yeah nice and spaced out but that that's pretty cool that's that's something new that i didn't see the first time i looked at this and that makes me a little excited here we got another city i wouldn't yeah it it's it feels natural it's it's not the planned soviet way it's not the planned um old republic way of doing this it is a very well functioning natural way there's even some cars going on it looks like Secret police. Are you a police car? Uh, you are a secret police car. Okay, there are no real cars. It's just secret police. This one I'm surprised to see. The heating plant should probably not be inside the city. Yeah, our health is a little low. But overall, health is not terrible. So it's probably fine. Um, but maybe not. But yeah, some of the industries just sit very close to, to the cities. And there's another uh, treatment plant. So it's treatment plant. Very cool. So, yep. This is the other city. And uh, let's go to the next one. There are just two more places, really, that we want to look at. Let's go back to this corner down here. On the corner. So we can go all the way up to where we want to go. Obviously, building the tunnel through here, just the road and the rail tunnel, took forever until the rail tunnel builder, borer, uh, came out there. But, um, well, we had, a, we had a little detour around this. But this is, this is nice. This, obviously, it fits exactly where it needs to go. There's the tunnel. <laughs> there are new textures on this. That's that's pretty, um, and that makes perfect sense. So, um, yep, like it. Large rail bridge. This one feels pretty cool because it's it's in a big valley. It's right off our mountain, but it's at a height that makes it really appropriate for the rail to actually run there. So, there was some thought that was put into this. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks like there was an attempt or a thought of doing something up here. Let's see if we have something that goes on here. There's this. I don't know. Oh, you, you textured water. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. There is just a little bit of infrastructure looks like going on here, but nothing else besides that. So I wonder if there are some natural resources that are hiding near the mountain here a lot of iron okay a lot of iron can go in there and a lot more coal all the coal is sitting effectively up here it's a very pretty map so that's pretty cool but yeah already planning for the next move uh and then if you have to you can connect the rail from there and just run up the mountain if you really want to but that is pretty cool just there, there's a start for that in case we want to we want to get to it that's cool pretty plateau i like that the waterway is actually really pretty but that's the map. That's that's not necessarily the Republic that we're looking at. And now we're getting into, I think, a very heavy construction zone. Things that are used for construction. We have a lot of gravel coming in here. We have a big processing plant that I haven't seen like that before. We have obviously excavators working in our... Oh, oh wait. This is an excavator? I... Interesting mod. I like it. Cool. Um... Yeah, obviously it's just set up that way and it's working that way and that's that's good enough. And then we get into this large construction business zone because we have some coal, we have a lot of gravel, we have a gravel aggregate loading station right here. We have, well, fuel sitting there. It's, it's there's, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm assuming these guys are, what are these guys? Oh, connected to something that is connected to uh, probably coal and gravel. Are telling you this is just coal. It's just transporting coal somewhere. Interesting. I don't know why we need that, but it doesn't matter. 
Um, but yeah, this is there's just a lot of stuff going on here. I, I'm not sure that all the the walls are justified in this case, but they are here. And this one is nice. This one like, reminds me of something that I've seen in Berlin many, many times. Just a bridge going over a lot of rails uh, because it's necessary in most places. That's that's nice. I mean, look at this. There's just non-stop production on here. I'm going to take that as a picture because that looks busy as heck. I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. Uh, cool little setup for... Um, come on, there we go. Autosave problems. Cool little setup for this. Also, oh, it's just a single... That's just a single storage. That's interesting. But everything connected. Kind of mirrored, so that feels great. We got some industry sitting out here. Are you... What are you doing? Oh, you just connected there. You're kind of overlapping here, but that doesn't seem to matter. Where do you get your people from? You get your people from... There's a bus station out there. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah, just there's a lot of industry and everything feels a little centered around construction needs and a little more. Is this a construction office? BZM. Yes, that's a construction office. Cool. I like it. Uh, I like it a lot. What do we have over here? It appears that we have a woodcutting camp here and we're using an actual woodcutting post. Isn't that lovely? And a bunch of water being produced here. <laughs> I like it. Then that, That's why you put it, in the forest. And then you have a city out here that looks a little more planned than what it was before, meaning more of the same building types, but I don't think this is done yet. We're, we're getting into the, the part of this republic that I know Beso would like to work on more, because, but time doesn't permit, so this is where it is. I think this is something where I could offer... Patreons, as long as Besso is okay with it, to share this map if they want to continue working on it. And that's Patreons or YouTube channel members, if you care, unless Besso really has a problem with that, which then, of course, I will not. Um, but it is an option. I will just throw it out there. And if you're interested, just hit me up um, via via those means. Easiest is Discord. Uh, Discord and Patreon probably is the easiest. Uh, yeah, I have a Patreon, if you, if you didn't know that, and I always try to find new things that I can share with you guys because I appreciate the heck out of you supporting me. So, um, thank you, thank you. Yep, we have the helicopter construction hell. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this, nothing at all. It's just helicopters make life life a lot easier on workers and resources because many, many reasons, and they're just a lot faster than your vehicles. Like, look at these buses. They're, these are 100 mile per hour buses. Are they? Yep, 100 kilometer per hour buses. And they're just not moving very fast. A helicopter moves a lot faster than that, so that alone is a big relief. Uh, we've got some rails that are not going anywhere yet, because as I said, this is not a completed map. And that is totally fine. If you have any of those, don't hesitate to send those over, because some of them are still interesting. Um, what do we have going on over here? Yes, a little metro setup. Isn't that lovely? Is this metro, or is this... Yeah, those are metro metro lines. Hold your horses. This looks new. I don't don't know when that happened. Like these these little doors that actually look like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have a um, this is an end station. Obviously, this is a train station going through here. Oh, I wanted to show you that. I, I really like how this kind of just flows into the city. Like there's there's a lot of this probably took a lot of time. There's even a roadway point right here. That's so cool. Uh, but yeah, this took a lot of time to get this actually set up and in here. And the city itself actually looks kind of friendly. Very German. Very German. I'm looking at this old... Is that Roman? Gothic? Something like that. So they taught me that in school and then I forgot all about it. But there's a very distinct style in buildings with these columns and the color schemes and... Someone will tell me that I'm wrong and what it's actually called, so please do that. But no, I, this this actually looks really nice. <laughs> and there's not a lot detail to it. It just, the, the detail is in setting up this, and I'm, I'm not trying to make, make it sound negative, but the detail is sitting right here. There's an elevated metro station. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is level with everything that's going over there. That is just spending a lot of time doing that. Then there's another station right next to it that's also level with the station itself. 
Uh, the on nope, I was gonna say the only thing I'm missing is a direct connection between those two. Look right here. I don't know if they're used. Um, yeah, the metro is set up as the, as the target. So if there's a train coming in here dropping people off, they go straight over there. But yeah, there's a lot of time spent in this. Plus, look at this. There is the... Um, the what, What's it called? Uh, this thing. The gravel square texture is used on here to make it look a little nicer. and ma Make it just different enough. Differentiate it a little bit to make it look nice. Plus pedestrian paths, just follow some some logic, some design right here. It's it's nice. It's nice. It's a small city. I don't even know how many people are in here. Maybe six thousand, seven thousand? I don't know. Doesn't matter. It looks great. There's a shopping mall. Hundred people in here makes me think there's maybe five thousand people here. Probably not even that, because these are a lot smaller buildings than I expected them to be. Regardless, it looks great. It looks great and does everything we need. Maybe this is just for a courthouse. Could totally be. Is, does it say Panko? No, Pedansk. Pedansk. All right. Uh, but yeah, it's it's nice. And there's another uh, sewage treatment plant. What I would really like to know is if this is part of the map or if this was a mod. Because I don't know where. It, like I don't see it here clearly. Do I have mods turned off? I may have had mods turned off. No, it's everything. Everything is there. And if I look for a bridge here. Um, we have a good unloading bridge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't, I don't, I didn't even know that we have bridges like this. Uh, this is not doing what I want it to do. It's just really short. <laughs> oh, there it is. Beautiful. Yep, this is the mod. I'm going to use it because it looks great and also looks like the, um... Oh, that's interesting. The the bolts may actually fit through this, and that's that's important. But no, I like this. I like this a lot. And you can even connect them however you want them. Uh, that's pretty cool. Can I just raise this? Nope, I can't just E and Q raise this, so there's a little bit of work to make these work, but it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. The first time I saw that, I was excited about it, and I still am. Cool. Um, let's continue just a little bit. We're we're pretty close to being done to seeing everything that there is to see here, but let's not let's not get too excited. Um, that's a long train. Nice export. How much is that worth? Uh, two million. Cool. All prefab. <laughs> um, yeah, we got another little rail rail junction over here. That is pretty neat. Then we have what is this? Uranium. Uranium setup right here with a little bit of stuff going on in the mountain. Um, of course. Uranium mine, uranium mine. Uh, there's a cableway station set up. Very cool. That goes all the way to here, which I'm assuming you get your people from a bus. Oh, the buses drop it off right there. That's 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 very nice. That's very nice. I'm I'm assuming the buses have that station as a transfer station. Nope. They just unload. Oh, they unload right here. And you have it going everywhere. Okay. Yep, this is one way to solve this. I think there's a max on how many stations you're gonna sign though, so be careful with that. Large uranium ore storage. <laughs> that that's pretty cool. What are you doing with that? Oh, you're just unloading it in here. Yeah, that makes sense. This this just looks nice. It. Yep, th these look like they're connected, but they're not, and everything is kind of, kind of merged together, as you can see the way it is. Um, I like it. I like that a lot. There, I don't, I don't know what this connection is. So the, yeah, it's a seven. Uh, that's a factory connection, but that's pretty cool. Got all that. Something is going in the mountain there. Where are you heading? It's a metro station. It's a hidden metro station. I would have, should have guessed that. And I'm glad I looked at it because I just saw these two pipes coming out there. And that's, that's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, what's going on over here? This is bauxite because it says bauxite. Um, yeah, there's a bauxite mine. There's another cableway station. I think we've seen something like that before. There's bauxite processing happening over here. Heavy use on the cable cars. Nothing wrong with that because they are awesome. Um, can handle up to about 300 people per shift, if, if you didn't know that. Uh, got another rail depot sitting here, got another construction office sitting here, because why not? Um, and they're all doing their thing and they're working. What is this? This is a heating plant. Uh, that's a little bigger than the vanilla ones, but that makes perfect sense. 
aluminum on the mountain. <laughs> That's great. It looks like we have another metro station set up right here. I like it. What I feel like this map, the, the owner of this map, Bezel, did was that had a map started a while ago and then um, adjusted it to all the updates that came up like back to back to back to back because nothing feels like it's completely out of place. Everything kind of feels like it has evolved a little bit in certain places, but everything feels like it totally worked um, one way or another. There's a water substation over here. The water comes from this side. Yep, there's a water tower there and you're connected to a bunch of water laid out here. Oh, <laughs> this, this is pretty. <laughs> this is very pretty. Um, but but you see what I mean? Like, this map feels so natural that everything that was added to it didn't feel like you had to remove a lot of stuff for it, you had to add a lot of stuff for it. It just kind of worked because of the way it was laid out already. And this... <laughs> I like this a lot. I don't know why, but I like that all three of these can kind of coexist in a way that still makes enough sense because this is the main the main railroad railroad line. This is a metro line down here. So they see each other, they kind of cross, um, but they, they can coexist pretty well. Pretty well this way. I like that. What do we have going on over here? Anything I missed? I Probably I've missed a couple things, but this... Honestly, it's just really nice. This looks like a larger rail, rail distribution office, just double length. Um, cool. They're missing power. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna diagnose the problem. I don't want to know what it is because it's probably the game itself that causes the problem. Anyways, a little more rail going on here. These are really high bridges. But in the location where they are and where they are going, which is uphill, they don't feel inappropriate at all. So um, that is really nice. And it looks like you really spend time making sure that the pillars line up, which means you have to run the rail from the same direction, from the same side, and then hope that you don't have any interruptions anywhere. So that is pretty cool. Um, fire stations. Yep, they work. Um, you should use them if you like them. So that is cool. Is there anything else up here? Just just a little bit more infrastructure being prepared for the future and there's a lot more to build here so again if this is something you want to work on hit me up and um, i'm i'm happy to share this unless beso says i can't which is also fine um yep we got some bulldozers and excavators here a lot of empty space for whatever you want to do very nice i like it and I don't think there was anything going on over here, was there? No, it's just expansion, but it hasn't happened yet. And it's really nice to build out here with helicopters. And that brings us to the last little bit here. There is some oil happening. There's a refinery sitting here. It looks like, are you getting people in via helicopter or what, what are we doing here? Uh, you drop out, or you get people from... Is this a bus station? No, this is a tram station. A tram station is... This is this is nice. You even built in the middle in between the the, the roads. Um, but very nice. Um, yeah, there's just a tram line set up that gets through... Goes through the city. Actually, this looks... <laughs> I like it. I like how these are right next to each other, but they kind of do work. Um, I'm impressed that you got a footpath connection in there. <clears throat> But that's fine. And yeah, this city is not done yet. But again, there's more and more stuff that needs to, be, needs to be completed. And there's a lot more to see if you care. But I like it. So, yeah. I'm going to find a train to run on. So you can see hopefully some or all of the, uh, of the map that you haven't seen already. And I will just say, if you have a map that you want to share uh, with me, please, please send it my way. However... If you do share it with me, don't expect that I will get to it right away, because that's not how I'm currently working. It is work to get to them. Um, I hope that's okay, but if you want to share something, please don't hesitate to send it my way, because I would love to see what you have to share, and I'm sure others would love to see it as well. So, that's all I really have. Really appreciate you guys stopping by. Thank you, Bessel, for submitting this. I'm, I feel confident saying Bessel. Because beso is kiss in Spanish. I'm pretty confident about that too. And that's what I think you mean. Or that's what I think your, um, your username is. 
If not, correct me, because I'm probably wrong anyways, because that's what happens. And, um, yeah, that's all I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again next time, and enjoy the ride!